Welcome to Madison Handy Points. Today we will find an answer to a question why pyridoxine is co-prescribed with isoniazid. So let's find the answer to the, this question. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe for future interesting videos. Isoniazid is known for peripheral neuropathy because it causes pyridoxine deficiency. Now the question is how it causes pyridoxine deficiency. So let's discuss that. Pyridoxine is needed for production of neurotransmitters. So if no pyridoxine, so no neurotransmitter and there will be neuropathies. But isoniazid prevent activation of pyridoxine in the body plus it also deactivate already active pyridoxine. So practically there is deficiency of pyridoxine. Now question is does it causes in all patient? No, in high risk patient. So let's see who are the high risk patient. These are elderly as expected, pregnancy, uh, then malnutrition, alcoholism, then chronic diseases like chronic renal failure, HIV, diabetes mellitus, and slow acetylator. These are the patients who metabolize isoniazid very slowly. So these patients specifically need pyridoxine in dose of 10, 10 to 50 milligram per day with isoniazid to prevent the neuropathy. I hope you like the video. Thank you so much for watching.